When you start your career as a creative, one of the biggest and most difficult thing is to find right clients and try to charge more. We are very shy when we're talking about prices. But in this video, I want to show you, and I'm not alone, five tips to increase and charge more of your clients. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Simone and I'm a professional photo videographer. And in this channel, we explore strategies and tools to improve our photography business and productivity. In this video, I'm joined by my friend Nick, who is a business consultant. And together we want to share with you five tips that will help you increase your sales and charge more. All right, Nick, thank you very much for being here again. This is our, I think our third collab or something like this, isn't it? Yeah, it's always fun. I always really, really enjoy it. So today, because you're a business consultant and you're amazing these things, you already gave me a lot of tips uh, as a preview before this video, but I really want to understand five tips, your top five tips to sell more when we are talking about, you know, as being a consultant or as being like a creative, because yes, it's one of probably the biggest problem trying to get it out there and ask for money, especially remember when I was at the beginning, I was just like, yeah, I'm going to get it for free. I'm going to get it for free. I'm like, no, no, that's wrong. So what's your first top tip? Well, the first one was one we were talking about together that you mentioned you're really good at, which is upselling. So do you want to talk about that one? I'm going to throw it back to you on that one. Yeah, I'm just going to give out an example so you guys can understand pretty well. Right yesterday happened that a company asked me for another video on TikTok and it was already the second partnership because they were happy with the first one. And uh, instead of offering only one TikTok video, I said in, a, in an email, hey, what about we do also IG? And I asked double price for it. In the end, we were able actually to get more than double price for the collaboration. And this is how you upsell things. Did I say it right? Yeah, absolutely. So I would call it upselling, add-ons, bundling your services. There are different ways that you can do it. So one way you could do it is by offering like a bigger package of the same, well, a bigger example of the same product or you could bundle it by offering different products. So in your case, you're offering video services, but then you're bundling in some photography services on top. Oh, that's but a great one. You, yeah, but you could, another way of doing it is you can just offer, for example, a better camera for the video production. So it's gonna produce a better quality and that could be a different type of upsell compared to the kind of add-on of selling the photos as well. So you don't, you could do different types of products or you can do a more expensive version of the original type of product that you're offering or service offering. That's a great one. Should we move on to the second tip? Yeah, this is one of my favorites, which is, I can't remember where I heard this, but I heard someone say, you always wanna be selling. So what often happens is people think we're in sales mode, then we're in delivery mode, then probably we'll be in sales mode again, right? But actually we should always be in the sales mode. So for example, when you're delivering your service and you see an opportunity and you're like, oh, actually I could do some photos here for you as well. Do you want, do you want me to do those? You're selling while you're delivering. So that's another thing you should always be doing. Yeah, that's actually great, especially when, if you are, for example, working for a local business and you're doing some videos, but then you're also a photographer, while you have uh, a contract for one video only, while you're there, just take some photos and then try to sell them later. So when you send the video for, you know, as a draft, when you're delivering your project, maybe show them the photos that you've taken and see if they're interested or not. And you could bargain some good prices over there. I think that's a really good point. Sometimes you can just do it assumptively and start the work already for free. So you can show them, rather than saying, would you be interested in this? Show them the thing and just start doing it anyway. And that can be a great way to get that add-on sold in. So yeah, that's like a great that. one. Thanks, Nick. Let's go with the third tip. This is a nice little simple one. I heard this from Grant Cardone. In the beginning, an easy mistake to make is you've kind of got a person who wants to buy your product, but you're kind of not ready for it, you're not used to it, and so you start talking them out of buying your product just because you keep talking about it and you're not ready to just close the deal. So a question that you can ask is, have you heard enough to make a decision? Okay, and so asking your, asking your, uh, your client, your customer, as you're talking to them about the product or service, just stop and say, look, have you heard enough to make a decision? If they say, yeah, great. Well, would you like to pay card or would you like to pay cash? How do you want to pay? And then you can go into closing the deal, right? Um, or, or invoice or whatever, you know, depending on how you're going to get them to pay. Or if they say, no, I haven't quite heard enough, 
then great, then you're understanding that you need to find out what they want to hear, what they need to hear to be able to make the decision or whether they're going to go for it or not. And also, don't be afraid for them to say no and not go with you because that's probably a good thing. You want to make sure that you're selling the right products to the right customer. And if they're not the right customer because they find out the information that makes them realize mm, it's not quite for them, great, you've saved both parties um, that's a great one and actually now it comes in my mind when I've read a Russell Brunson book called Dotton Secrets when you have a person already in the shopping cart that's it don't try to add over like too many information when you're there because he's already sold and if you add more information maybe you will think about it and then no you just need to want to get that emotion bring him to click on pay okay so the fourth one is asking for a referral so once you've um, sold something to a customer you can go do you know anyone else? Do you have any friends that might find this product or service useful as well? Could you connect me with them? That's a great thing to do at the end of a sales conversation. Yeah, because this, especially when you're a creative person and you're showcasing your talent, if they know that you could help a friend of them, they will be very, very happy, I think, to refer you to someone who is in need, maybe of a videographer or of a photography, especially for the creative business. Because if it's a product, I think it's slightly more difficult. Of course, it could work, but as a creative, it's very difficult to find a creative mind that really could help your business. And therefore, it could be, yeah, definitely great opportunity to ask referrals. Let's go with the fifth and last tip. So tip five is really gonna help you if you are struggling to make sales. Because what you wanna do is you wanna look back at all the customers that you sold to already because the easiest person to sell to is someone you've already sold to. So find a list of your existing customers and then try and sell them something again. That's gonna be the best way to find more sales. There's a great one as well. And if we look back at kind of like the persuasion rules to get more clients, one of the main one from Cialdini, I read this, is that commitment, right? So when you have a client already, that means he made some sort of commitment to you and that is gonna bring him to do another, maybe small commitment, another move towards whatever your product is. So these are five great tips from a business consultant. Thank you very much, Nick, for being here. I'm gonna leave his link uh, somewhere down in the description or even maybe somewhere around here. Check out his channel. He does great, great videos about business, business model canvas, and, and how you can kickstart your career. Thanks again, Nick, for being here. Always a pleasure. And if you have some spare time and want to check another video on how I started my career, I'll leave it uh, somewhere here. So feel free to check it out and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Ciao.